Is your ELO somewhere in this range? Maybe you play one of these openings. But do you ever feel a bit bored, or wonder if these openings will actually help you level up and win against higher rated players? Well, fear not, because today we will show you how to play the English opening. Spoiler alert, if you actually pay attention in this video, you can easily get your ELO to 1800 plus, because people literally do not know what to do against this opening, it's like a cheat code. I never heard about this in my life. Yes, that's why I'm going to crush you, just wait a couple of minutes so I can explain how the opening goes. First of all, why is it so easy? Because we can play it against almost anything, and you actually know what you are going for. Pay attention now. Thanks horsey. These are the moves you are going to play. Let's show you how this will look in a real game. And our idea is to control this d5 square so black doesn't go there, and after that we are gonna be pushing f4 and going for a pawn storm on the king side. These pieces control d5, while these guys control f4. This guy prevents black from taking this square, as we don't want his pieces there, and also creates a spot for me. Danger alert, cause it's time to move the f pawn, and by f pawn, I meant fucking pawn, but I can't move him because I will be in a check. So just wait for me to hide here first. Okay let me show you how I crushed black in this one. Go horsey, go there and attack the d5 square. Yeehaw! If instead of castling black goes here, do not be scared. This is already a mistake as we can just play e3, stop the attack and attack the knight, and after black protects knight, we just kick it away and win a lot of tempo. <coughs> wow you really know what you're doing. Do not speak, you will be gone soon. Now we will prevent the knight from coming to g4. It's not a huge threat, but our plan is to push this pawn to e4, because if we play e4 immediately, the knight can move here and we can't block the bishop cause pawns don't go backwards. So if we want to protect this pawn, we have to push this pawn and move the horsey there to protect him, but for now, we don't have to do anything, that pawn is guarding, so I think I can safely push e4. Good job little guy, look at how we are covering this d5 square, black I dare you to push there, no I won't push, you will just eat my pawn for nothing. Ok now I feel safe as this bishop is no longer trying to snipe me. Now it's time push it push push f4 pawn. I will push the ill out of me. But king you just sent that pawn to die. Sacrifices must be made, now the bishop can come and we've weakened his center. Going there with your knight, that is not the smartest idea. You can resign now. Why would I resign? I literally developed my knight forward. Yes, but you weren't careful enough. Impossible. I am such a fool to tell the knight to go there. I resign. Yes, yes. Very sad. Thanks for the elo points. Now you might be saying, Man, what the fuck is this blunder? You are showing me a game against a hundred rated bot. No, this is literally a 2000 rated guy. If he can make this mistake imagine what lower rated guys will do. I just never faced something like this, it all looks so natural. Maybe you need better training because we always lose. Wow that's a perfect segue, go at night. Click the first link in the description now to join Top Chess Army, our community to help you skyrocket your ELO rating M. Okay, thanks at night, let's go on to the next game. Wait, but you never let me finish, this is my favorite part. Okay fine and become a super saiyan at chess. So click the first link in the description right now. Okay, that was actually kind of good. Moving on. Let's look at one more game. We are again going for our setup. Pong, we can safely do e4, go now, do your job. Roger that on the double. Nice job Pong, you really mean a lot to us. Let's quickly finish the opening, I need to castle. Yay. My lady and the bishop, aim at that h3 pawn, he's weak. I will defend you pawn, I wanted to come here anyway. <laughs> now we're ready to push the f pawn, go f pawn. If he doesn't take you, you trap his bishop. What? You want my bishop, ain't happening, take that pawn. You can take one pawn but I have another one. Bishop I'm coming for you. 
I'll make space for you bishop. You might have made space for that bishop but you weren't paying attention. I just moved my bishop back, like what do you think you are doing? I resign. See again how easily black gets lost, he plays these natural moves that look good, but that's exactly what we want, cause he is silently running into our plan. But black, you weren't even aware of the dangers you were in. Shut up, I lost the game. Yes but you could have lost in a different way too. It's just how good this opening is. Watch this. We also could have played this. Instead of f4, I can play bishop takes f4 too. And we are still threatening to push here if this pawn decides to take my pawn. And we are also threatening brilliant h6. And after h6 we win back our piece, and we also busted open black king. Hello there. Wow, all of that was there? Yes man you really need to step up your game. Let me see you be the leader, you are stupid. Okay let's look at a different game where black fianchettos his bishop. This is essentially even worse for black as he will feel like he's safe but we are just gonna go for that bishop and usually all of black's pieces are gonna be too late to stop our attack. Okay black I see you're trying to copy me now, how do you think that will work? I will crush you this time. Oh let's see that happen for once. Stop copying me bro, come up with something on your own. Okay maybe on the next move, I do feel dumb a little bit. Thanks. That h6 pawn of yours, it will be my target, thank you for that. Go queen, help the bishop attack there. I will save you pawn. We prepared all the pieces for f4 push, but we want to stop the knight from coming in and trading for our good bishop. You do know that I can hear you, right? Yes but there is nothing you can do to stop me. Look at black already not knowing what to do, so he just plays this wasteful move. We are coming for you. Oftentimes black will land this knight here but we do not care as all our pieces are playing around him so there is no need to capture it. So you're saying this move is pointless? Yes king, do you not see that I'm not attacking a single piece? G4, we continue the attack and black is starting to feel pressure. No I don't. If you get F5, I guarantee you will win 80% of the games, F5 now fully kills his light bishop, if black takes, we take with the g-pawn and his bishop is dead, he's literally got nothing to do and we have a clear attack towards his king, with the knight coming to g3 and h5, he tries to counter attack with b5, but we are now not in a rush and we'll just close off his attack on the queen side, does this mean I have 20% chance of winning? No you will lose 100% of the times, yes because you're stupid. Okay I will attack you on the other side now, I do not care, I will just block your attack and then go and checkmate you. Lame out, b4 even helps us cause he just stopped his own attack. We don't care about the queen side, we are going to attack the king side. Wait no horsey. We take with the e-pawn as we free up the e4 square for our bishop, or horsey to come on in the future. After a 5, black allows us to play what we wanted in the beginning, f6, and now black is dead lost, he has to move his bishop but now we pick up this pawn, attack the rook and we'll either win material or checkmate him in a few moves. I told you king to pay more attention look what you've done again. Uh, it's not over yet, I'm gonna break through on the other side. Try all you want, now I have all the time in the world. I must take this pawn away, he's too big of a threat. Yes but now your rook goes bye bye. I think it's time now, go my lady, checkmate the black king. You really think I care about that pawn, you will get mated now. Go knight, help the queen deliver checkmate. I really can't stop it. No. I resign. Okay so you might remember in the beginning when I said you can play this opening against almost anything. As you've learned we don't want him to push d4, as this opens up the center and then it's risky to attack with king pawns, so we would have to basically just play a normal game of chess. Here's an example. Black immediately goes for the center so here we are happy to trade a side pawn for a center pawn. This time I won't allow you to do your things. Yes yes, but I will still beat you, you are already giving up a center pawn for a side pawn.
and we get a free tempo on the queen. From this point on you can play basically anything you want, it's free real estate, you can still put the bishop on g2, and just fight for the center. Blunder alert, that knight just blocked the bishop's protection. What? Thanks for the bishop pal, I thought we were gonna have a nice long quality game. Now when you are up material remember the general rule to trade everything down and simplify and keep me safe. Ha, you fell into another trap, resign now. What do you mean, you hung upon, watch this. Queen f6, trading off the ladies, this just helps me, it will be me and my pieces against you alone, how do you not see that? He deserves to die. Resign please you're down two pieces. Okay you're right. Nice job king, you lost us the game again. Shut up. Alright friends, that is how you play the English opening. If you play it out a little bit I guarantee you will crush the elo ladder. To sum it up, 1. Prepare our setup. 2. Attack on king side with the f and g pawns, they should be dead by now. 3. If that doesn't work, push d4 too. 4. Don't forget to tuck the king in. 5. Block their attack on queen side. We're looking to make more educational chess content like this, so comment down below what kinds of videos you'd like to see next. And click the first link in the description to join Top Chess Army and gain 69,000 ELO. Peace.